is uh, some of the other channels a lot. Um, and a lot of people came in, a lot of Druids came in and started defending Druidry. And a lot of apostate Church of England people came in and started defending the Church of England. Um, but it was pretty clear from the video I put out that it hit an nail on the head. And I used stills from the internet, but this is the full video where you have the Queen of England being inducted into the um, Welsh bards, the Druids. Um, I mean, there she is, you'll recognise who, who's supposed to be the head of the Church of England. I mean, you know, if you read the Bible, would you say that the Church of England and Druidry can be mixed? Uh, I don't think so. Look at these stones. They gathered where the stones are. Yeah. You think that the God of Israel, the creator of heaven and earth, rates a stone? No. So, um, obviously the apostasy that um, the churches are conducting, because church and state is conducting the apostasy, is linked to Druidry. I've proved that with the, what's called the, the, the pagan wheel. The wheel of the year, so they gathered here in a circle, committing this um, idolatry um, and uh, damning the nation by it. So you'd say, well, what, what's the harm in reading a few poems and having a little sing song, as the Druids like to tell you, that's what they get up to. So let's see what um, Julius Caesar said, because he was an eyewitness to it. He had an empire, quite a big one, as you know. And he um, went to Gaul, which is modern day France, and, and basically wrote an account on the Druids because that was their religion in Gaul. And um, I'll read it out to you. It says, The Druids uh, are in charge of all religious matters, superintending public and private sacrifices, and explaining superstitions. A large crowd of young men who flock to the schooling hold the Druids in great respect, for they have opinions to give on almost all disputes involving tribes or individuals. And if any crime is committed, any murder done, or if there is contention about the will or the boundaries of some property, they are the people who investigate the matter and establish rewards and punishments. Okay, I'm going to skip this bit because it's not actually that important what he, he, uh, what he goes on to say at this point. It's more important what he says later. Uh, this paragraph here says, uh, There is one archdruid of supreme power. On his death, he is succeeded either by someone outstanding among his fellows or either several of equal calibre. The decision is reached by a vote of all the druids, and the election is sometimes managed by force. Okay. Um, the general view is that this religion originated in Britain and was imported into Gaul, into France, which means that any keen student of druidism now goes to Britain for information. That's important to note. The whole Gallic nation is virtually a prey to superstition, and this makes... The serious invalids or those engaged in battle or, or dangerous exploits sacrifice. Okay, I'll read it. Uh, those engaged in battle or dangerous exploits sacrifice men instead of animals. So here we have an eyewitness account of Julius Caesar, a Roman emperor, saying that they sacrifice people, not animals. And it's to do with their superstitions and asking their false gods for help by killing people. They even vow to immolate themselves, using the Druids as their ministers for this purpose. They feel that the spirit of the gods cannot be appeased unless a man's life is given for a life. They feel that the spirit of the gods cannot be appeased unless a man's life is given for a life. So that this religion is into human sacrifice and it demands blood, etc. Public sacrifices of the same sorts are common. Another practice is to make images of enormous size, that's idols, with the limbs woven from willows. Living human beings are fitted into these. This is called the Wicker Man. There was a, sh uh, a film about this. You wouldn't know. And when they are set on fire, the men are engulfed in flames and perish. The general feeling is that the immortal gods, in brackets, demons, are better pleased with the sacrifice of those caught in theft, robbery, or some other crime. But if simply such criminals is lacking, then they resort to the sacrifice of completely innocent victims. <clears throat> right. That's that peaceful religion where they all sing around and dance, talk about nature, etc. I mean, if you wondered about climate change and why, why they're so bothered about the environment, is it not because they're all druids? I would have thought. And you've got the Church of England, uh, which as an institution would be excellent if it followed the Bible. But they use the Bible as, as a means to trick people into Druidry. Because following practicing solstices, such as uh, the wind solstice, the summer solstice, the spring equinox, the autumn equinox, the pagan wheel, I've said it all on this channel for a long time, years, maybe ten years now, who knows. Um, this is what Christmas is all about. See, she's got mistletoe in her hair. See the mistletoe? I have to forgive my low-tech approach to my channel, it just it just gets the job done. I'm sure I've seen like, people like the, uh, the Pope using that uh, hand gesture there. It sort of looks a bit like the Assyrian gesture where it just looks like they snap their, snap their fingers, click them. And she's got a sickle. Yeah. 